Now, by the way, the next time she pops up, do check out the necklace and earrings that Whoopi Goldberg is wearing. Four million dollars worth, I'm told. Not hers, though. She's just borrowed them for the night. How nice to have friends who can lend you baubles like that. Well, with me now, I've got Tracy Ullman, resident of Hollywood, wearing... About 100 bucks worth. 100 bucks. Oh, I, I, thought that, I thought that was at least a million dollars worth of rubies you got there. <laughs> How are you enjoying the show so far? Good, good. It's a little lackluster. I'm hoping a streak is going to go yeah. across or a black protest or something. But So what did they do with Braveheart for makeup? They painted a guy's face blue. I mean, please. And Gloria Estefan, that song, it sounded like Turkey's entry for the Eurovision Song Contest. I've forgotten it immediately. I well, like Bruce Springsteen, yes. Dead Man yes. Walking. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's your bet, That's my it? pick, yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. What about the next category up? Because we've got Nick Park, you know, the oh, animation. Best, Wallace and Gromit. I watch that all day long with my kids, yeah. yeah. He's won twice, though. You think they might have to give it to someone else this year? Well, this is the problem. Mickey you Mouse. There's, there's a big Disney film, um, yeah. a Mickey Mouse, a well, new Mickey, a Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse original. Well, yeah, Seven-minute Mickey Mouse, Mouse yeah. cartoon, which cost $11 million. Oh, now, God yeah. knows how much Nick Park spends. It's Mick with, a, Nick with a bit of plasticine in <laughs> yeah. his Bristol studio or something. Yeah, you know? I know. But he, he's had, he had the most remarkable record so far because he's only made four films and every one of them has been nominated. Mm. You know, and, well, he's, uh, he's, he's amazing. And, and, and if you try and ring him up, as my husband did, and said, would you like to do something for us? He's like, well, I do something about once every three years. And I just like to sit and fiddle with plasticine. Thank you. He's terribly shy and retiring. Yes, it is. Yeah. You think you would have Wallace and Gromit toys in FAO Schwartz? Uh, he's obviously not an opportunist. No, he's not. No, no, if Disney took him over, God knows what would <laughs> yeah. no. Listen, you were here last year because, well, you weren't, you weren't quite nominated last year, were you? No, Diane no, Weiss I haven't was, been nominated, though. No, but Woody Allen, who, you know, yeah, Woody's over Broadway, he's, he's, yeah. he's here again. What, what do you fancy, yeah. what do you think of his chances? Um, not for me this year, no? I must admit. No, I like, I like the pig movie. I want Babe to win. I don't like Braveheart because I hate when Mel, um, Mel gave that classic Australian yeah. director's direction, throw the big puff out of the window. <laughs> don't you just hate it when he throws the homosexual out the window? It's like, please, it's a classic Australian oh, right-wing guy's direction. I mean, politically, so for that, I hate it. Yeah, yeah. Well, in a politically correct town like LA, that wouldn't have gone down too well, would it? I don't know. The audience are cheering and stuff. And also, Mel looks a bit like he's been spending a lot of time in the Edinburgh gym for yes. me. Yeah, oh, um, I can see. Yeah, yeah, you obviously have the same reaction to Braveheart as you had last year to Forrest Gump. Oh, you didn't oh don't Forrest. talk about. You remember uh, us last year with Forrest Gump? I do remember oh, you last year oh, with Forrest Gump. Yes, yes. Yeah. Haven't really recovered from that. No. Um, but Braveheart is is. I mean, it's got ten nominations. Um, it's already won something. I mean. Yeah. Oh. Paint the guy's face it, it's, it's much too early to say that you know it, it could clean up because but yeah. th there's sort of early indication that maybe it's going to walk away with with quite a few awards I don't know I don't know I I don't I think I think babe will win best movie somehow I just do but that's easy saying that being an English person because you you know oh, sure, maybe yeah. everyone wants the big American movies but Apollo 13 was it's good but it's not yeah. like the right stuff remember Philip oh, Kaufman's no, the right stuff that was extraordinary that yeah. was it's a good yeah. American movie but it's not for me but it, it is it is amazing how difficult it is to to predict this year no. yeah I mean is that there's no Schindler's List. There's no sort no, there's of conscience nothing. movie Absolutely. or yeah. anything yeah. like that. No, no, no it's an no. odd field this no, year. Right. But what, what, is the reason, what is the reason for that, do you think? Is, is, it, is it because there just weren't very many good films made last year? It was an odd year. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah it wasn't. It was, there was no, as I say, there was no conscience movie. I know, it was a mediocre year, really. Yeah, it was. It was it's a bit lacklustre. It's, it's a lovely what? widespread this time, though, isn't yeah. it? You know, from Babe at one into Apollo the 13. The one movie I haven't seen is Dead Man Walking. I get sent all the tapes because I'm in the Academy yeah. and I haven't seen that. And I've like, voted for Sean Penn's sight unseen I've, because I love this. We've got it. I'm afraid we're going to cut you oh, off there, Tracy. We've got to get back to the. Bye bye, show. dogs and insomniacs. <laughs>